You're welcome to Logos of Flame Daily Devotional Podcast. Be blessed as you listen. January 11th, today's topic is Obedience to God's Voice Yields Prosperity. In today's Old Testament reading, we find Isaac in a land that was experiencing famine. Clearly, his intention was to go to Egypt, which had greater prospects from a natural standpoint. However, the Lord spoke to him and instructed him to remain in Gerar. Isaac's obedience to the Lord's voice led to his prosperity. When he planted in the land, he ripped a hundredfold. The reason was that God blessed his obedience. Similarly, we can experience financial and material increase when we listen to and obey the voice of the Lord. Although many people are relocating from one part of the globe to another in search of greener pastures, Christians are not expected to do what seems obvious because we are blessed with the leadership of the Holy Spirit. Your location or geography has a lot to do with your prosperity. This is clear from today's reading. One way to cultivate spiritual ears to recognize the Lord's instruction in specific areas of our lives is to intentionally obey the clear instructions we find in the scriptures. As we read the Bible daily and practice what we find in it, we will train ourselves to recognize what God is saying to us about practical aspects of our lives. We should also trust the Lord for direction in marriage, relationships, partnership, career, and business. As we hear from Him in these areas and other areas of our lives, we should obey His instructions. We can expect that our obedience will lead to prosperity, just like in the story of Isaac. Practical Reflections 1. How do I seek the Lord about major life changes? 2. How can I apply God's word to my life so that my spiritual senses are trained to recognize his voice? Our Bible reading is from Genesis 24, 52 through 26, 16. Matthew 8, 18 to 34. Psalm 10, 1 to 15. Proverbs 3, 7 to 8. Our memory verse is from Genesis 26, 12 using the New Living Translation. When Isaac planted his crops that year, he harvested a hundred times more grain than he planted for the Lord blessed him. We would love to hear from you. Please send your messages and prayer requests to our email, office at logosofflameministries.org or visit our Facebook page, Logos of Flame Ministries and drop a message. God bless.